Today I fucked up by going to the doctors. For context, I am obese. I was 124 kilograms, 273.3 pounds, about 3 weeks ago and today, I'm 116 kilograms, 255.7 pounds. The quick weight loss was done with the aid of duramine, hunger suppressant, and jardians. Prevents what is essentially the uber of glucose for reabsorption from picking glucose up and lets the body excrete it out through urine. The doctor, Clinic A, didn't really touch on what the latter did and I didn't bother to look it up either. I should have, but hindsight is 2020. Anyway, the week I started the regime was also, coincidentally, the week I signed up for an insurance policy. The insurance policy required that I do a lipid panel and urine test at a random clinic, Clinic B, of their choice to ensure I did indeed have a clean bill of health apart from the very very unhealthy triglyceride count that was recorded nearly 4 years ago. This morning, I went for the appointment. Did the blood draw and peed in the stupid bottle that caused me a world of panic and anxiety for a good hour. When the doctor, Clinic B, called me in to speak to me about the results, he didn't mention anything about the lipid panel, which is great to not hear about since it most likely meant I was fine now. But he immediately mentioned the super high counts of glucose in my urine and I just didn't know what to think of it. He told me to redo the test and I did but it didn't improve of course. I was sitting in the waiting area lost and in denial because a diabetes diagnosis would be devastating at 23 and would also mean certain career death for my route of work. I decided to think of how I could have developed diabetes out of nowhere in the matter of a few months. I didn't exactly go all out on sweets and chocolates and I had been fasting a lot as a result of the hunger suppressant. And then it hit me, I was taking a drug that I had no idea what it did. Researched the name, looked at its mechanism of action and was relieved. I then asked to see the doctor, Clinic B, again after the second lab result came back. Explained that I was taking Jardians and that was what led to the high glucose count. Got grilled by him for 5 millines as he forced me to write down the statement in the form that had explicitly asked us whether we were on any drugs that were prescribed. Too long did not read. I'm a fat ass and a total moron that took a drug that would unknowingly lead to a high glucose count before a urine glucose test and scared myself and a doctor half to death before realizing why the count was so high. Edit. Damn, I see some comments that are accusing me of withholding information from the doctor on purpose. They gave me a form, it wasn't a verbal question. You ever feel annoyed getting a form and want to finish it ASAP? Sure, I would agree the real fuck up was actually not reading through the form properly. Saying I played doctor is wild. Honestly, the fuck up was just that you always need to tell medical professionals which drugs you are taking. Almost certainly had you written this down on the form in the first place as instructed, it would have flagged this for the doctor or lab. Your too long did not read. Makes it sound like taking the meds before the test was the fuck up, but really it was not telling the doctor what meds you were taking. Not knowing the side effects wasn't spectacular either, but it did sound like you already realized that. I'm assuming you know that since you said they spent 5 minutes grilling you over it, but I've read enough stories of people thinking it's okay to withhold information from their doctors to not be sure. Always tell your doctors folks, even if you think it's irrelevant. I'm not here to grill you though, I'm not your dad. Hope everything else goes well and you find success in both your weight loss journey and future career. Just curious but what line of work are you in where being obese is fine but diabetes would wreck you? No, you did not fuck up by going to the doctors. FYI, you don't need to eat a lot of sugar to develop type 2 diabetes. Just being overweight increases your risk of developing it. Personally I'd be more worried about the obesity than diabetes. Today I fucked up I got in a mosh pit. This happened today. I am 45 and I live a pretty quiet life. I have a professional career, I knit, I garden, and I bake cookies. I'm a grandma for Christ's sake but I'm still a punk rocker at heart. The husband had zero interest in the bands, tasteless heathen, so he was hanging out in the shade while I went down closer to the stage. I haven't seen some of these bands in over 20 years and well guys, I couldn't help myself. I jumped in the pit. It was a tame pit, most of us were middle aged, but somehow I made contact with the wrong person in the wrong way and lost my footing. I went down on the asphalt hard and rolled. Some sweet guy snatched me up and set me on my feet and I was right back at it but once the adrenaline wore off. Damn, I fucked up. I banged up my wrist, I've got a good case of road rash on my leg, shoulder, and arm, and I tore my hand up nicely. I'm already pretty sore and I know I'm going to have many physical regrets tomorrow but I won't regret the memories. Too long did not read. I got in a mosh pit when I'm officially too old for that shit. Granted your injuries sound really bad and I hope you heal quickly but come on. You're a shoe in for kick ass grandma of the year. I am a 41 year old metalhead. A few years ago, I got knocked down on my back, and at the same time, also landed on the back of both my elbows. 
One elbow gave a year of pain and required surgery to fix, which subsequently took another six months to fully heal. I still mosh hard, rolling on the floor laughing. Iron Maiden tomorrow night in Auckland, New Zealand. Turned 50 a couple of weeks ago. We'll see how long I take to recover. Went to Black Sabbath with my dad about seven years ago. Took him two weeks to get his hearing back properly. Bruises will fade, the pain will subside, but those memories will never go away. Good on you. I was just in the pit for the NoFX farewell tour. I'm still healing up and it was two weeks ago. Worth it. I'm sorry for your injuries. I'm 37 and I hope I still get in a mosh pit at 45 despite the risk sign of the horns two hearts. Today I fucked up by drinking too much water. Obligatory, this happened yesterday, not today. Anyway, here we go. So, I, 20M, am a distance runner. Yesterday I came back from my run and was hit with an incredibly insatiable thirst. I'm always thirsty when I come back from a run, even with my gels, but this was different. I drank and filled up my 24 ounces hydro flask at least 10 times, maybe more. A bit after that, I started to feel super funny. My limbs felt heavy, I couldn't keep my balance, was slurring my speech, etc. It was honestly terrifying, I was sort of smacked in the face with the fact that I'm not invincible and that I can die. I freak out, but then realize that I probably just had too much water. I called my mom to ask what the fuck to do, and she said don't worry pumpkin just eat salt. She obviously meant eat something salty, like pretzel sticks, but I was so out of it that I hung up and just downed a couple tablespoons of table salt. About 10 minutes later I start to feel a bit less dizzy but start to get nauseous instead. I end up having to run to the bathroom to projectile vomit. I could not stop puking. It had so much velocity. Toilet full. Significant other much water came out. Turns out table salt will induce vomiting in certain quantities. Roommate came to check on me and I couldn't even speak between heaving and retching. His girlfriend wanted to call 911 but I managed to explain that I just ate something funny. After that I felt way better, and I woke up today feeling fine. Too long did not read. Drank too much water and then ate way too much salt trying to fix it, salt made me projectile vomit. Water intoxication is a thing, my dude. I called my mom to ask what the fuck to do, and she said don't worry pumpkin, just eat salt. Are you Eric Cartman? Your mom knew exactly what to do. I once drank too much water and ended up in the ICU with critically low sodium levels, hyponatremia. Took a few days to get my sodium levels back to normal because if they do it too fast you can get brain damage. Buy your mom some flowers bouquet. You're a long distance runner and you don't know the basics? So, you drank about 7 liters of water and didn't stop and think about what you were doing after 2-3 liters. Those gels don't restore electrolytes, they are mostly carbs. Just drink electrolytes after your run sugar free Gatorade or those hydration tablets. Yes you can die from drinking a lot of water at once. I hope you are fully recovered now. Take care. Yeah you're not supposed to drink more than 32 ounces of water in an hour from what I heard, depending on your body weight. 